So we have a solution for small islands that we can uh, make them sustainable, uh, make them more energy independent and reduce their energy costs. Uh, so SwimSol is a solar energy company that focuses on small tropical islands. Uh, our main market currently is the Maldives. We've also done some projects in Malaysia, in Indonesia. Why do we focus on small tropical islands? There are uh, two key reasons for that. Uh, number one, uh, tropical islands have a lot of sun, which is very constant throughout the year. Uh, reason number two is that they have very, very high reference energy costs because on small islands, all the energy is being produced with diesel generators. And diesel energy is typically three to five times as expensive as conventional energy. And of course, diesel energy is also very, very unsustainable. So solar energy is in principle a very good uh, solution for, uh, for tropical islands. However, you usually have one uh, particular challenge, which is that, that space is very, very limited on islands. You sometimes have some roof spaces that, that can be used, but these are also not always ideal. Um, therefore, on most islands, especially in the Maldives, with conventional solar systems on roofs or on the ground, you cannot replace more than 10 to 15% of the diesel consumption. Uh, we as Swimsol, we have the ambition to really transform the energy production on tropical islands. And therefore, you need a solution which can replace at least 50 to 60% of the diesel consumption. And if there is no space on the islands, you only have one other place to go, which is basically the sea. Uh, so we came up with a floating solar solution for the ocean, uh, which is wave resistant and co corrosion resistant. Uh, and modular. The typical floating PV systems for lakes are simple plastic pontoons. Uh, this is absolutely not how our technology works. So our solar sea system um, is a so-called space frame uh, structure um, and the solar panels are elevated more than two meters above the sea surface. The substructure itself is very open so it allows waves and wind to basically go through, through the substructure this minimizes the forces on the entire system, also on the mooring and anchoring system, and is thereby, thereby it is designed to withstand the strong forces you can have in the sea, from waves, uh, from winds, from currents, etc. So it's a very strong and sophisticated structure, and it is designed to stay in the sea for at least 25 to 30 years and to withstand the conditions.